Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. I'm your host David and I hope you're having a great day. In this video, the new Moto 8 Pre ES Thunderbolt interface, the heart of my mobile studio here in LA. This unit won over all the other interfaces. Why? Well, high-end converters, Thunderbolt and USB connection, eight pristine high headroom preamps, remote control and standalone functionality. All of it in one unit rack, but keep watching, there's a lot more. There are many great interfaces out there on the market, but to be honest, it didn't take me that long for me to choose the Moto 8 Pre ES over the others. I quickly listed the features, but let's go into details and take a look at the front and the back panel and the features, both hardware and software. Priced just below $1,200, this one unit rack handles 52 audio channels simultaneously, 24 inputs and 28 outputs. There are eight combo mic line instrument inputs on the back with built-in preamps, and these are high quality preamps, totally transparent and really high headroom. If I want color, I have my 500 series rack, but when you track outside of a studio, you don't want to add variables. Transparent will always be a good choice. For the eight preamps, we have on the front panel individual preamp gain knobs, pad switches, 48 volts phantom power, and the possibility of digital remote control. Yes, you can control this unit at distance with any device, tablet, phone, laptop, this alone was probably the best selling point for me. If you're tracking alone, this is essential. You can have your interface in the control room and be in the live room recording vocals or recording an acoustic guitar and set the levels of your preamps remotely. But if you track at all, you can be moving mics in your control room and be next to the artist swapping mics and controlling your interface from your phone, your tablet, your laptop. The unit can also work as a standalone no computer or laptop needed. The remote control is done by launching the web app, so it's not something that resides on your computer or on your laptop, and you have all the controls of the front panel and more, mirrored in here. So gain adjustment, engage pad, phantom, you click or tap on your screen and the interface follows. More on this in a minute. Still on the front panel, we have the menu control section. Meters button, back button, and menu knob that you can twist and press to navigate the menus showed into the two LCD displays, which are just great, showing levels of both input and output, and all the info that you need at a first glance about your session, your sample rate, your clock, input and outputs, digital connection, everything. Another big selling point for me was the monitor section. I did not bring my drummer controller with me, so I needed a self-sufficient monitor section that could handle two pairs of monitors and headphones. And on the 8 Pre ES, we have the volume knob, which is dented and extremely precise, as all the other knobs on this interface. And it shows every volume change in 1 dB scale on the display, so you can really set it precisely. Then we have A and B buttons for two monitor lines, mute and mono buttons, talkback button with built-in microphone, and the net ID button that access directly the network menus. The network capabilities of this interface are impressive. You can connect multiple units in a network and control them all remotely. Two headphones output, and this was my very first contact with this interface. I was in my hotel and I didn't have monitors. I plugged in a pair of 20 bucks Sony headphones, which I know very well, and I was so surprised because I've never heard those headphones sound that good. The headphone amp in this interface is just killer. I have three pairs of headphones with me. One is Sennheiser HD 600 that you know guys have been using forever, and everyone knows how sensitive these headphones are to what amp you drive them with. Both outputs have individual dented volume knob, and again, they show the level on the display as soon as you touch them, and the chassis of this interface is aluminum alloy, lightweight and built to last. Maybe it's just me, but the chassis really speaks for the build quality of Moto Gear. Onto the back panel, in here we have the eight combo microphone line instrument inputs, and for each one you can connect either a microphone, a line instrument like a synth, or an instrument like a guitar or a bass. 
and I love these preamps. They sound just clean and detailed and they have a lot of headroom. They just sound like quality. And what was another very important feature for me was the analog outputs. This unit has eight analog outputs. So I can carry around a hybrid analog setup with my 500 series rack, with my two bus modules in there and other pieces of gear I brought with me. And I can easily connect to any big control room I'm mixing at and have my session going from my laptop. Connection to the PC was the other big thing, of course. I wanted Thunderbolt. My MSI laptop is one of the few Windows laptop with inbuilt Thunderbolt connector. So I purposely built this system around the Motu. And the good thing is the 8 Pre ES has both Thunderbolt and USB 2 high speed compatible with USB 3. The interface is capable of a low 1.6 millisecond round trip latency at 96 kilohertz over Thunderbolt, which carries up to 256 audio channels, 128 ins, 128 outs, and allows the possibility of streaming AVB slash TSN Ethernet via standard CAT5E cable up to 100 meters. This unit is compatible with both Windows and Mac, and you can also connect it to an iPad with the camera connection adapter. Digital expansion was also another must have for me, and here I have an ADAT port with 16 channels at 48, 8 channel at 96, or a stereo toss link pair up to 96. As for the converters, they need no presentation really. The ADDA of this unit is well known to professionals all over the world, as the 8 Pre ES has the same ESS Saber 32 DAC technology with a measured 123 dB dynamic range and the same proven award-winning quality as Motu's flagship 1248 interface. Proven is the keyword for me. I do this for a living. I need my gear to be reliable and proven on the field. Every other week a new piece of gear comes out. This is great, innovation is always welcome. And I myself always look for the next best thing and innovative companies, but I am very careful with the core of my system. Motu has been building interfaces since the dawn of digital audio. For the longest time, before home studios were a thing, the upgrade from the basic Pro Tools rig Digital Design offered was Motu. They've been building high-end gear for decades. This is what I mean when I say proven. But these were all the connections and features on the unit itself, front and back panel, but this is not all there is. The software that comes with the 8 Pre ES was, again, another big selling point for me. You know guys, in my studio in Europe, I have RME cards, great cards, great internal mixer, everybody knows that. Motu is better for me. I find it way more intuitive. It took me one day to get a hold of it. Just one day and I could find everything and I was familiar with everything in this mixer and the routing interface. And you can route any channel, whatever you want, just with a click. It's all visual, what you see is what you get. Any input to any output, splitting, multing, creating headphone mixes, it's so easy. The graphic is clear, no hidden submenus or tabs. It's really just pure functionality. You can connect the web app from any device and you can set your routing and your mixer and your oxy mixes in any way you want. But if you're in doubt, Moto has a quick setup launch where you have six presets and they are so useful if you switch frequently. Audio interface, standalone mixer, interface plus mixer, live recording with direct monitor mixer, AVB expansion or optical converters. These are one click preset based on the different scenarios you might use this interface for, including live. On the device page, you have all the inputs, outputs, optical setup, LCT, monitor setup, including mono and mute buttons, so you can control that remotely as well. Think that when tracking, checking phase on microphones, clicking on the mono button from your phone. Next is the routing page. Here is where you can send any signal to any output, assign any input to any outputs with just one click, or actually click and drag to set up multiple channels in a row. It's that easy. Then there's the mixing page with a 48 input digital mixer with seven stereo aux buses, three groups, access to 64 network inputs, flexible routing matrix and DSP effects. There's a reverb, a four band EQ, a gate and a compression. Oh, and one thing that I absolutely love that I was almost forgetting, are the analysis tools. This is in a different tab in a different window from the web app, so you can have both open in different screens. 
in the analysis tools, oscilloscope, real-time FFT, XY plot and graphic phase analysis. The real-time FTT is always on my second screen. There is also another new feature on this software which is Motus Touch Console, a 48 channel mixer with effects which is designed specifically to be used with touch screens, so tablet or your phone. And this is the new Motu 8 Pre ES Thunderbolt interface. Personally, I just love the way this unit is designed. I love how it sounds, it's solid and I can rely on it. Low latency with the Thunderbolt Everything is transparent and most important, high headroom. The design is so slick, the all black with blue lights just does it for me better than anything. And the LCD displays are clear and everything is there. Remote control, proven quality, all the other feature at this price, I think there's nothing to add really. I'm totally happy with this unit, installing it on Windows 10, which was the first time I was using, was the easiest installation to date for me. Not a hiccup. Pro Tools didn't even crash, so there's that. But seriously, everything was smooth and I haven't had a single problem since installing it. I trusted this unit to be the core of my system. That's all I'm gonna say. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. Check out the links in the info box. There are discount, free stuff, giveaways. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. There are exclusive live feeds in those pages and material. I give daily tips in there and there are big news to come. So subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you next time.